Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a new weapon which will be AK-47 based on model from external package along with new attachment which is a sight and a silencer also from the same external package and uh, this is um, final and this is end uh, result video so as you can see the weapon is fully functional and, uh, and it's working so let's get started. Uh, before I started the recording, uh, I imported uh, models for uh, our new gun, uh, which is which are coming from FPS Weapon Bundle, which is uh, free, I believe now. And we'll be changing this, changing, making a new gun, AK-47, which is uh, this one, which is uh, in this pack. And uh, before that, I also made a couple animations for it. A couple simple animations for reloading and uh, for recoil, which, is, which are basically the same as a regular rifle, automatic rifle. Uh, we will base on automatic rifle uh, logic anyway, because it's very, it's pretty much the same weapon. All right, so. Let's select uh, we're on, on clean project. Let's select um, let's look for automatic rifle data asset and uh, copy it. So it will be <coughs> um, AK47 rifle, let's say. AK47 rifle. So this way um, we have already a lot of settings done. So it's very fast to, to do it this way. And let's rename it for AK-47. And for description, uh, I can AK-47 rifle. Whoops, rifle with and then silencer and collimator. All right. And in terms of settings, grip type and archetype as a rifle, we're not going to change that and slots um, on the back, the same as the grow rifle. That much I will keep the same, it's, uh, it doesn't need to be changed. And uh, attachments, I will assign attachments uh, later for that, because we need to add sockets first. And But but uh, most importantly, of course, is a mesh. So let's go to the mesh, mesh section. And let's pick the that SK, sorry, what was the name? SK, <laughs> here is reverted, it is, uh, it is KA47 instead of <laughs> AK. Uh, all right, so let's look for weapon skeletal mesh because we'll use, uh, we can use uh, static mesh or skeletal mesh. It's the pen, uh, here we have a boolean for that which you can change, but uh, since uh, we have already animations, we can use Skeletal Mesh. And uh, we need to Mesh for Pickup. We can also use Skeletal Mesh or uh, Static Mesh, but I saw that there is already a Static Mesh for this guy, which is, I think, this one. I don't know what's the, the difference. It's, uh, there are two versions, but the difference is very, very small. But I think it is this one, yeah, K47. So I'm selecting that. Let's assign it. So that will be for um, for uh, pickup, right? So we don't need we don't need uh, skeletal mesh for pickup. We can clear it, and we wouldn't need um, static mesh for uh, static mesh for uh, you know holding the gun, regular gameplay. So we can clear it. And in theory, it should already work. So let's uh, pick up in. Um, I'm selecting the player now, for example, in, with AI and everywhere is the same. So I'm looking for AK 47. There you go. And initial equipped, it will be slot 2. So it should be already equipped at the beginning. As you can see, um, the materials are wrong, and because they were overridden, and uh, 
attachments uh, are off because it has no sockets and the whole rotation is off so we need to adjust that so let's go to AK47 well we can close the game actually and look for materials I think uh, material overrides as you can see you can override materials and I did it for automatic rifle but we don't have to do it for this guy so I'm just removing it okay let's test okay so the materials are fine and I see it is rotated by 90 degrees uh, in hand so mesh location of the sorry that would be better rotation here it is mesh rotation offset in hand at holster the holster is when you don't aim and uh, in hand it is when you aim so I saw it is I think it will be 90 degrees to the right now to the left <laughs> maybe um no not really and I'm missing something here it's uh, I'm, I might be wrong axis this guy hmm okay you know what it will be faster using uh, console commands so we can for example get this guy and get the settings maybe can we dock it somewhere no we can't uh, get it somewhere over here we can for example s hmm, actually eject maybe now let's disable the auto turning that will be that will help a lot so whatever we'll do he will not uh, auto turn and actually we can start aiming pause the game eject on f8 unpause the game and oh my god we don't have a history and uh, as you can see in deb debug commands you can open the gamepad here i'll move this away uh, we have a lot of custom commands that you can use console commands so what i'm we're looking for is tps reload weapons data so we can change it on runtime so for example i will switch it to 180 and I will call CE. It was TPS. Um, TPS weapon. No. What was the name? Reload. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Reload weapon data. Right? So it automatically changes during the game. Uh, we can also do it while, well, while uh, being ejected. So, for example, I ejected during the aiming, it will now never go back to aiming. Um, sorry, to holster pose. And we can call it here, CE, uh, from Coso command down down there. And that was... Oh man, I'm still forgetting. <laughs> that was... What was that? Why I can't open... Ah, here. Ah, oh, I need to copy this. Fortunately, it will remain in memory. So you do it once. CE TPS uh, reload weapon data. Uh, Alright, let's check with if it works. So I'm sp setting to measure station to zero and I'm uh, calling the const command and uh, something changed. And I think I'm missing something here. Uh, I think that's wrong axis. Yeah. Let's see if this works. Oh, there you go. So actually, the rotation was 45 degrees. Uh, looks like uh, looks like it. And uh, I don't, I'm not sure why it would be uh, rotated 45 actually, but um, looks like it's working. Let's uh, po uh, stop the game. Let's check again. Yeah. So you can already you can already shoot. Uh, of course, the left hand is supposed to be on the gun, but we don't have sockets yet. So we'll fix it in a second. 
Uh, I don't get it why it would be 45 degrees, but it looks like the pivot is of this weapon is done this way. And all right, so let's add the sockets to this weapon so we'll have more stuff. So this is AK-47 um, um, skeleton. Let's see the, um, what was it called? Sockets, bones, sockets, sockets. And there is only one the muzzle flash. It's called muzzle, which we can use technically. But it would be faster to copy it from different gun which is from uh, automatic rifle. So I'll open the A auto rifle. There you go. And the uh, SKM rifle. So as you can see, we have a plenty of sockets here already. Oh, let's see them. Yeah, bone, yeah, sockets. And hope we can just select them all of them and then copy selected sockets and paste them uh, there they were all in weapon root so paste them to root of that gun paste sockets to selected bone oh it actually worked um okay i see what's going on now that i see the pivot of this uh, of this weapon is inverted is uh, is rotated by uh, 45 degrees. I'm not sure we would have to re-export it, uh, but let's tweak it very quickly here and and fix it for this kind of case. Okay, so we don't need the old muzzle flash for um, for this for this weapon. We whoa, for some reason I can't. Ah, okay, so let's adjust it that adjust that quickly. So that will be somewhere here. Aiming camera that will be whoops. That will be tweaked a little bit. So it is. Hmm. Let's go to details. Actually, it's supposed to be right in the middle. Not sure. I will reset everything. Whoa. Yeah, as you can see, <laughs> the mesh is the pivot. Uh, the root is rotated by somehow by 180 degrees. That's why the you had to adjust the adjust the because because it's supposed to be like this. That's why the 45 degrees went in. All right, so that will be uh, FPP, hand grip for right hand. So let's move it somewhere here. We can change it on runtime later, tweak it. Bullet shell spawn location, so it's a shell eject location, so it will be here somewhere. Okay. Uh, attachment second scope, so it will be on top for scope like sniper rifle so it'll be somewhere here actually it's not a bad idea to add the preview asset for example scope and that'll be static mesh scope I don't know we can pick this the first one Oh, as you can see, it would be inverted. Yeah, this... Oh, okay. The rotation is weird. Okay. Checking. I never know if which direction is good. I guess uh, it should be the other way around. Yeah. Okay, so the scope... Could be somewhere here. This is only for preview, of course. Uh, no other way around, I think. This is, yeah, and or not. This I never know. 
yeah, yeah, the site is is from this this site. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, this is of course only for preview. The um, it won't be added to the mesh. Uh, low barrel front, which is the another attachment. So we can add it somewhere here, and that I don't know, laser sight. That's a preview. Oops. Laser static mesh like this one. So let's reset the this thing. Right, lower back, which is behind the attachment behind the um, behind the front, the front one. Okay, let's reset the rotation. Um, whoops, by the right, so it's on the right side. Whoops, like so. Barrel left. I'll not go into detail now, like you can tweak it on your own time. This is a matter of making technically it correct, technically it is correct. Silencer will be adding to uh, silencer, so let's set it to zero, zero, and zero, and add the silencer actually. Silencer. I think that uh, actually in this package there was a silencer. And um, let's accessories. Oh, there you go. Suppressor. So let's add this one from the package. Oops. Let's rotate it. I guess this is forward, like so. Something like this. And by the way, if you would uh, add the sockets, uh, if you would use static mesh, you would add sockets here with the same names. And so on and so forth. Actually, we'll have to do this. Uh, and technically, we could do this also here, because that will we'll use... Um, it depends. You, you will use this for uh, what's called the items, right? Because for well, for pickups, you don't need the skeleton, right? You uh, you only need the static mesh, so it would be more optimized. All right, so silencer muzzle flash socket, which is here, which will be. Position of the muzzle flash when you have equipped silencer. Laser sight. We don't have place for that. This is the general laser sight that don't need attachment. Um, I don't know what it could be um, because this weapon doesn't have space for it, but. Let's say it can be here. Of course, you don't have to use it. And hand grip transform left, which is the hand location when um, when when the gun will be in the right hand. So the left hand will be will be somewhere here. All right, and let's start the game and let's see the progress. Inject. Okay, so. Looks better. I see the attachment already start, starts to work uh, because we had in automatic rifle attachment, so so it's even it's even better. The flashlight is off uh, because probably because of course the socket is uh, the weapon is inverted. Whoops. Okay, we need to adjust the sockets a little bit. Uh, probably mainly the rotations. Uh, let's uh, fix this hand first. So, whoops. Let's go back to this guy. 
let's uh, take the left I think that was the left hand socket yeah so as you can see when I'm moving the the socket I just automatically updates in the game I messed it up because um, I changed the rotation I reset the rotation no no I didn't but uh, we can change the rotation well it's a very small window wait a second that will be that will be easier change the rotation of the hand so whoop, damn it uh, where were we here sorry about that let's pause the game and double click it hey it's quite good already somewhere here Maybe a little higher. Ah, there you go. That's about it. And um, let me remove the flashlight, maybe. Um, or well, actually, we can do we can do plenty fixed in a couple ways. For example, the flashlight is off, as you can see, the attachment. And. Um, let's go to data asset and let's look for the flashlight when it was enabled oh, and here it is and I see attachment rotation offset is 90 degrees as you can see so probably that's the case because for um, rifle for different model it worked let me reset that and let's so let me where was the rotation here yep not sure it's 90 degrees in Y. I never know which axis, it, axis it's supposed to be. But let's say I'm resetting this to zero and reload it. Oh, and it didn't reload the attachments, I think. Not sure, but let's uh, restart the game. Is this a flashlight? Yeah. Rotation offset. Um barrel right i think i'm missing something here ah maybe that was aha uh -huh, because uh, okay because the attachment <laughs> because the socket is inverted the weapon is inverted it could be for the roll so i think we should change it for z actually we could also change the uh we could also change the the socket itself oh let me save it but I, I'll show you both options so yes yeah, so that was wrong axis I messed it up and or you can do this I guess um, no that's wrong axis other way around there we go okay so let me stop the game yeah so as you can see it's more or less more or less sits where it's supposed to sit whoa no not really it's supposed to be more on the side but um now oh yeah, jesus don't i didn't want to do that um now i can show you different method because this is a local method per weapon right that where you can pair attachment change the location rotation whatever you want let's open the skeletal mesh back because i see i close this mm. damn it that was this one yeah i guess this one oh, i don't know why i don't see any more so sockets anymore so i have to go to bones and sockets and the uh, flashlight was attached to well where is this flashlight was attached to where is the uh socket ball right okay so we can take socket barrel right all right and rotate it here oh as you can see this rotate at 90 degrees here so that's why 
that's why you had to adjust there. So I guess we'll do zero. There we go. Now it's it has correct rotation. As you can see, the hand is uh, too close, so we can at the same time. Oops, right over here. It was um, grip. I never remember left hand or right hand. Right hand. Or left hand. No, no, she's, he's coding with the left hand now. So let's pick this and move the hand a little bit. We can also move the socket, of course, which is the which one was barrel right. And real time, as you can see, you can adjust uh, adjust the the sockets also, right? Uh, the, sorry, the sockets for the attachments. Um, okay, so as you can see, already flashlight is working, and we are we are kind of good. Uh, let's let me put this. Let's see what's missing. So you can shoot. You can run away, run, run around. Yes, yeah. For this, we'll have to adjust it also. All right. So, so solution for this is quite simple. It's just uh, 90 degrees in uh, in Z axis, and now we have holstered uh, holstered weapon. You can shoot it, and um, now when I go to FPP, I guess let me save it move it away and with the, the rotation will be off by 90 degrees so let's go to the skeleton mesh and let's go to aiming aiming socket so I think why well, we don't see anything again oh no mm, it's uh, minus rotation is minus 90 let's reset this Let's see what will happen. Okay, so that's again some. Uh, I highly recommend to to make uh, make weapons with uh, negative x uh, axis because, as you can see, it's, everything is inverted here. Let's check how it was here in uh, in original weapon. It was uh, minus one eighty, and in Z. Okay, yeah. So that's definitely different axis so this weapon is rotated by 90 degrees so I'm assuming minus 90 will be fine but I don't know okay now that's is this the really minus y80 okay let's see now okay so it's going crazy because I'm assuming root is also rotated oh my god and uh, so let's try a couple things. Okay, we got it, but not in roll. Um, so in the roll, we need to add 90. Yes, or sub. Oh, there we go. So that's the correct, <laughs> correct orientation. If you have uh, your weapon in Y axis forward. I mean y, y axis, uh, positive Y. Okay, good. So we have FPP. Um, as you can see, it is a bit out of place. So let's uh, little do a little correction. Like, we'll move it up. Down a little bit. Okay, you get the idea. And... Um, you can tweak it per attachment. That's the that's a b better approach. And I think it's now down. Oh man, I'm a bit confused. Should it go down or up? Up. Oh no, down. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, so it's closer. You get the idea that you can. Um, uh, you can um, tweak the tweak the location of the FPP camera, but uh, for this guy, uh, we'll do 
two more things. Um, we'll add a collimator attachment from this package and the silencer. So we we'll won't use this guy anyway. So we can actually use, uh, I mean, this mesh, of course. So let's go to, let's reset the settings here. Let's go to, atta oops, to attachments. And we can add another one, for example. So I'll show you both cases. So we need, uh, now we have collimator, collimator A. We can right click and copy all settings. Disable this calimator, right? Add the new one. So we'll have 10 attachments all together, but as you can see, they're all um, disabled. They're just for reference, of course, if you don't want to use it, you can you can remove them. Okay, and I will paste the all settings for collimator A, and I will call it collimator AK47. And we have the let's look for the model which is this one site well we can call it site site ak47 it doesn't matter it is it is only for just for reference this this name you can set whatever you want uh, okay so let's sit, set this um let's change the model and pretty much we're done but probably the rotations could be could be wrong but we can adjust them here Probably it will be 90 degrees off or something. Yeah, 90 degrees in um, Z axis, I think. Attachment location. Uh, also, we can here attach, um, make offset for for location. And let's add 90 degrees in Z. Uh, I think we're good. The um, it is quite quite up because the whoa. The rail, there's no rail actually for this, um, for the attachments here, so it will never fit for this weapon. But, uh, so here we can either, again, move the, move the um, socket for the attachment, right? Or we can, um, uh, for scope, or we can um, change it per, um, per mesh, per sorry, per attachment here in data asset. So, for example, I see it is uh, a little. We have a little bit offset here already, but I don't know. I guess. Whoops. I guess in Z axis, let's add minus ten, and let's use the. I think we have to unpause the game. And that. Whoa. Where is my console command? Uh, I'm pressing up to get latest uh, latest used console command. Let's update this. Oh my god, when it went. I think I overdo it. <laughs> okay, minus 10, it was too much. Minus 2 maybe. Okay, that's still not still too much. Minus 1, we have to be real careful. Okay. It's kind of there. Let's pause the game. Double click on it. Yeah. Yeah, it sits okay. Alright, so we can possess the player, resume game. And actually see it in action. Whoa, it looks quite, quite well. And... So we need some kind of... Something to shoot at. So let's me get the barrel. And a couple of them. And let's uh, enable respawning. They will respawn on this try. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, the weapon is working fine. The, um, as you can see, the camera is a bit off. So we need to adjust that. It is... Um, the, the camera for FPP is too high or too low? Um, too low, so we can adjust that here. Here you have FPP camera local offset, as you can see. I'm always uh, so. Let me put 
tree. Now I think that will be too high, but let's see if this works. Oh yeah, that's too high. And um, so that was one, and let's I know minus one. You reload. Okay, that was too much again. And let's put zero. Okay. Ah, I didn't. Re I didn't reload. Sorry. Okay. So it needs to go a little bit higher. Guess that was this one by half. Ah, again, I didn't reload. No, I need one more higher. Two. Now it's too high. So one and a half. Oh man, I broke everything. So now it's too low. So again, 1.7. Let me give more help to these guys. Like 500. Oh, well, now it is quite, quite okay. I think it's fine. Um, the, other, the only thing is the rotation of the uh, rotation of the camera in the roll so we can adjust that now I also I want to check if the if it lands okay in hand as you can see it's fine because the pivot was quite um, um, pivot with the rifle regular rifle and um, and this one model it's pretty much the same but as you can see it is a little bit off it could go to the right a little bit and I think it's also rotated in a roll. Right, so um, let's adjust that. We can do it by going to mesh. As you can see, um, there is some. Uh, there was some offset some from the rifle already. I never know which one, which uh, axis it is. So I always put like extreme value and reload the weapon data whoa whoa let me double click on this yeah so it is actually other way around so not it was 2.7 so let's say one is this a correct one yes and reload yeah as you can see it sits better in hand so now um, we can adjust the mesh in the row uh, or where is the aiming? Let me check. Not the grip. Um, yeah. So we can uh, so the check double check a couple things. Ah, yeah, pickup. That's what I meant. Yes. Of course, for pickup we need to change model. So so it will be. The, the different model will be used. Uh, okay, let's go to the roll for the offset in hand. As you can see, it's minus um, minus uh, point uh, eight. So let's reset that and let's see what happens. Oh my god! Well, let me restart this. It's quite inverted still. In hand, okay, that was minus eight. Oh, let's let's put ten. So let's see if this works. Oh my god! Of course, that was wrong axis. Minus five in Y. Oh, I didn't reload. Um, yeah. So as you can see now, we'll have this. <laughs> quite cool angle but of course I overdo it 
so not minus five, maybe one reload. Yep, it's it's quite straight. So we have the sight, it's quite good. And what else? Ah, pickup, of course. And so for this, yes, pickup and recall and reload. So beforehand, I made, um, as I said, I made the animations for it. So let's uh, assign them. Shot weapon recall, anim shot weapon animation with the recall, which is somewhere here. Mm. Oh, here, yeah, of course. So I'm selecting that, going back to AK, bang. And for reload, this guy. This guy. So the, that's the, that's the animation for the weapon itself, right? And for reloading is this. I already added some sounds, like bonus things. Uh, uh, as you can see, this is not regular play sound because it uses um, data asset, which is special notify called um, uh, play sound data asset. A N. It takes the data asset file, not direct, um, instead of direct sound, uh, which are to find here. I'll show you, as you can see, here it is. The reason is uh, to share sounds set up between uh, animations and between weapons. For example, this weapon, um, this skeleton might have uh, like multiple multiple uh, meshes and reload animations. So instead of placing the sounds, the same sounds everywhere, everywhere, you can define and make like a definition of the sound. So if I double click it, well, it should show up somewhere. Ah, oh, there you go. Uh, if I double click it, as you can see, there is one. There is one sound. That it plays. Oh, jeez. And uh, which is uh, not not that's not what I wanted. Here are the the sound data assets. As you can see, uh, I've split it into rifle, uh, clip eject, insert, and cocking. So they can be reused. Uh, so this is like a small small tool system for that. All right. Okay, so we're good. So let's check the reloading. Yeah, more or less it's working. It won't be. It won't be exactly. It won't be exactly the same because the it's from different. The animation is uh, straight from different skeleton, which is from regular rifle. But for from technical perspective, I want to show you like how it works. And uh, something, as you can see, the shells are spawning, and there is a recoil. Um, there is a recoil on on the weapon itself. Recoil animation. Oh yeah, we missed the silencer. Sorry about that. And we we have the setup for silencer already here, but I forget where. Probably at the end. No. And there we go. And so let's enable it and save. And let's use the it is the model from the package, which is the suppressor. This one. Probably it will be again switched by ninety degrees. Or oh, no? No, actually it's quite good. The, there is only an override of the the material probably somewhere here as you can see you can override the materials on the attachments also so let's remove that yeah the, the muzzle flash socket is off um, by 90 degrees let's fix that it should be I guess 90 degrees like that up or not Mm, some I'm missing something here. Also, flash socket. 
Hmm. Yeah, okay, I see. Um, there's, there was additional rotation for the muzzle flash. So let me reset that to zero. There we go. The, the flashlight is a bit a little distracting, so let's disable that. And what do we need? Attachments. Oh, this. No, no, that's not. There we go. Let me disable the attachment. The sorry, the flashlight. Yeah. There we go. So as you can see, we have different sound. All right. So what's left is a pickup. Let's pick up item base. As you can see, there's a warning that you don't have anything assigned. So let's pick the AK-47. There you go. So we can already pick this up. As you can see, the attachments uh, are off. And uh, because they are in the uh, root location oh, of the static mesh so now we can add the sockets the same sockets to the static mesh or um, we could technically use the skeletal mesh i hope it will work so like so oh okay i don't know why it went down and no 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 I want to clear it, of course, and let me move it, there we go, it ref it's, it's refreshing when you move it, right, so I'm pressing and, and we got the attachments in place, maybe a little up, that's about it, Okay, 47 Okay, we can check one more thing with equipping. So I will remove this weapon from initial loadout. So we have nothing. Now let's check. Yeah, it can be picked up. It can shoot. It works great. So I guess that's how you add the weapon. Um, that's the final result. Thank you.